you know, I'm sure when you get around the city, people recognize you, people want to talk to you about, you know, this or that, but it was kind of turned on its head during COVID where people were actually like confronting you, like in grocery stores and hardware stores. I remember, um, man. <laughs> yeah. So for someone that is so well-liked and respected in the community, how, how did you deal with that uh, switch in the dichotomy? Well, I dealt with one of them wrong by letting myself get mad when that guy chopped, chopped my hand. And I handled the other one right when the lady just went off on a lot of crazy stuff. And and you try to figure out, you know, what's what's causing this. And uh, I think I certainly think President Trump divided this nation and that added to it. But it was the Internet. Uh, every conspiracy theory in the world now has got large vulture wings spreading all over. Uh, when that one lady, you know, said they were going to kill me and I wouldn't want to walk the streets anymore. It's coming. She was just mouthing conspiracy theories right off of the uh, off of the Internet. And that has spread. Um, when people saw that video of what she was saying, uh, 23,000 people watched the initial one. And a vast, ma uh, the vast majority of her audience agreed with her. <laughs> so I'm glad nobody executed her thoughts. <laughs> but uh, it, 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 it's just uh, become very, very hard to get truth out. 